Now, even though it's always been expected that the Baltimore Ravens were going to bring in additional offensive linemen at some point before the season started, the timing of this visit just does worry me a bit. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss a single video. Also, leave a like on the video. Click that thumbs up button. It takes less than half a second and it helps out so much. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Let's get into it. So, it was reported just a little bit ago from Adam Schefter that free agent offensive lineman Connor Williams visited the Ravens today. He is said to be considering both the Ravens and the Seahawks proposals right now and should make a decision soon. So Ravens are like, they serious about this guy. Because if you caught that part, he is said to be considering both the Ravens and Seahawks proposals right now. So Ravens dropped the one knee and they said, hey, will you sign with me? But so apparently the Seahawks did the same thing too. So right now, Connor Williams got to decide between John Harbaugh and Mike McDonald, Seattle and Baltimore, the Seahawks and the Ravens. And with that being said, this does make me a little bit nervous. The reason why it makes me nervous is because the timing of it. Had they brought him in on any old day, okay, cool, more offensive line help, especially an offensive lineman that got experience starting in the league. Hey, no problem. I'm cool with that. I like that. I love depth. I love quality depth. I love when you upgrade the depth of your team. But with the Tyler Linderbaum injury and him, of course, being held out of practice. And Harbaugh did say, too, he said, we're going to keep him out. We're going to be extra cautious with Tyler Linderbaum's injury, which I got zero problem with at all. But with them, like, really trying to sign Connor Williams, it makes me wonder if Tyler Linderbaum's injury is a little worse than they led us to initially believe. Again, hopefully this is just all a super precaution. Because I ain't trying to scare nobody, I ain't trying to worry about no, nobody or nothing like that. But I'm just, the, the timing and, and the urgency of them like, hey, we really trying to sign this guy right now. It's like, ooh, it, it just makes me question that just a little bit. So hopefully that doesn't end up being uh, what the case is. Hopefully Ty Linderbaum is trading again. It's just extra precaution because you, you need centers to take those reps. You need somebody to be taking those reps since Tyler Linderbaum is out. It can't just be the backup, which I believe is Nick Samack right now. You need more. Uh, it can't be Nick Samack, and maybe they throw in Pat McCarty there sometimes, too. They did say they tried Ben Cleveland at center today. I said, oh, okay, Ben Cleveland? All right, now, right, right here, look. Ravens with their offensive line, they trying a bunch of different stuff. They mixing and matching a bunch of different people at different positions on the offensive line. They're like, look, something got to stick because right now we only got Linda Baum. Now Linda Baum's out, but with our, our starters are Linda Baum at center, and Ronnie Stanley at left tackle. And that's it. That's it. So they've been trying different people at different positions and whatnot. But let's read up on uh, Connor Williams, who dealt with an injury last year. It says, uh, Connor Williams, who spent the last two years with the Miami Dolphins, has been rehabbing from a torn ACL suffered late last season. Rosenhaus, who is, is his agent, said that the center has made a miraculous recovery following surgery and would be ready in time for training camps to begin. So obviously this article is a little before training camp started. But... He said the tear in Williams' knee involved more than just the ACL, and it was initially thought that he would miss all of camp and potentially some of the season, but instead it appears that Rosenhaus' prognosis may have been on the mark. Now, get this part. This is the part that us Ravens fans need to pay attention to extra close. I mean, we've got to pay attention to all of that because that is big injury news for him. But it says, a former second-round pick from the, of the Dallas Cowboys back in 2018, Connor Williams played tackle in college. Okay, so he was on the outside, but then... He kicked inside to guard when he played for the Dallas Cowboys. So he got experience at tackle and at guard, but then get this, and then transitioned to center in Miami. He emerged in 2022 and 2023 as one of the league's most athletic centers, and his ability to get out and block in space was key to Miami's run game. That right there, I like to hear that. I actually love to hear that. Because something that we've been saying on here is that we feel like Baltimore Ravens, they need to get more athletic up front for just the way that they do things. You still want to be strong. still want to be big and nasty. But you got to be able to move as well, especially just to get the most out of this offense. But he has versatility. He's played a little bit of everywhere. So for when Tyler Linderbaum gets back, they may be like, man, Connor, Connor, you look pretty good on that offensive line, man. Look. We'll how about you try guard for a little bit? See how you do there. Well, you know what? Try right tackle for a little bit. See how you do there. Hopefully, it could be one of those things. I mean, he got to sign first. He, he, he got to sign the deal first that Ravens have apparently offered to him. But 
it, it, it sounds like he's somebody that can do a lot of different things. He just had to stay healthy. That's the name of the game, obviously. We want Linderbaum to get healthy. That's the name of the game because Linderbaum is one of the best centers in the league straight up. And Linderbaum is like that. Um, but with Connor Williams, hopefully – when he has to decide between the Baltimore Ravens and the Seattle Seahawks, he makes the right decision. Now, I wonder if something that's impacting his decision could be playing time. Cause I don't know the Seahawks uh, offensive line situation, so I can't really speak on that. But I wonder if he's looking at the Baltimore Ravens situation like, man, would he have a higher chance of playing more with the Baltimore Ravens or the Seattle Seahawks? He could look at the teams, too. Would he have a higher chance at winning more with the Baltimore Ravens or the Seattle Seahawks? These are all things that players take into consideration. Living situation, playing time, the money. That's probably the biggest thing right there. Who's willing to pay more? And if they both had about the same, then you got to look at your pros and cons. But hopefully... The cons for the Seahawks outweigh the ones for the Baltimore Ravens, and he makes the right decision. Come on home, Connor. Now, for the Baltimore Ravens, the past couple of training camp practices, Rashad Bateman and Lamar Jackson apparently have been really starting to get some chemistry, really starting to build a connection. Because I remember last week, there was a practice that one of my guys went to, and he was telling me about it, and he said, man, Lamar Jackson, he getting it with all the other receivers, but when it comes to him and Rashad Bateman, it's just off it just doesn't seem to be there with those two so when i first heard that i'm like "Ooh, that don't sound good but then a day or two later after that that's when we start hearing these reports about oh lamar jackson rashad bateman they really starting to build that rapport and that chemistry was starting to heat up and certainly over these past two days it has been for sure but today as it got hot Things cooled off a bit and not in a good way at all let's read the reports from jeff zrebic and jameson hensley it says the Ravens practice just ended. Rashad Bateman delivered the offensive play of the day, elevating over not one but two DBs in the corner of the end zone to catch a touchdown pass from Lamar Jackson. So beautiful thing right there. Beautiful report. That's what we love to hear. Look at that boy Bate making plays in training camp. And then he ends it like this. He says, however, Bateman, who was having a nice practice, he stayed down for a while, got up and appeared to be holding his ribs in midsection um so he he got up went up for the ball caught it touchdown let's go but didn't play another snap and practice again after that let's read the uh, jameson hensley's version of it he said rashad bateman once again made the play of the day for the ravens leaping over two defenders in the end zone for a 15 yard touchdown but bateman was injured on the play and did not return to take another rep he stayed on the field holding hit the left side of his ribs so with rashad bateman Again, hopefully this is nothing. Hopefully it's just a precaution. They said that he stood up for the rest of practice. You know, he was there. He stayed out on the field but just didn't take any more reps. So hopefully this is just one of the things where he just got a little sore. It's just a little rough, just a little rough landing and whatnot. It, it's hot out there too. So maybe the heat had a little something to do with it too. But hopefully that's all it is. Ravens are really, they really put themselves in quite the position this year because they put in all their eggs into the Rashad Bateman basket. And this, in my opinion, it is either boom or bust. I feel like it's no in-between with this situation. I want it to work out. I know all of y'all want it to work out. Of course, the Baltimore Ravens want it to work out. Of course, Rashad Bateman wants it to work out. We all, everybody, we all want it to work out for sure. It's a high risk, but hopefully there's that high reward that the Baltimore Ravens and Rashad Bateman and everybody just ends up reaching this year. But it is, it is a very, very risky business for what they're doing. But again, Rashad Bateman with more opportunity, with increased uh, workload, hopefully he can ascend. Keep on building that rapport. Keep on making plays and training camp. And again, hopefully this injury, it doesn't end up being anything.